students namaste and welcome to today's english class of grade 4 today we are in unit 6 a cruel landlord and under that we are doing a grammar lesson today and we are focusing simple past tense today okay simple past tense now let's start let me start with a question what did you do yesterday can you answer me what did you do yesterday you might have done so many activities yesterday and i have also i also did many activities yesterday i also did many activities you might have also done many activities so what did you do then can you share some of that or uh, you can right obviously you can share the activities that you did yesterday let's discuss some activities okay what could um what you might have done or what i did what you did what i did okay what you did what i did let's discuss some activities look at here in this picture look at this first picture okay if this is the picture of your activity that you did yesterday then how would you answer what did you do yesterday what did you do what these people did ha ah, okay we say i played football with my friends okay suppose one of the speaker is from here and this is the activity that took place yesterday then obviously you would answer i played football with my friends now notice over here the verb played play played okay i played football with my friends next hmm look at this picture what was this boy doing this this one is activity from previous day so i would ask you what this boy did what this boy did supposing that you were you did this activity what did you do yesterday so if this boy is asked what did you do yesterday the boy would obviously answer what he would say yes i did my homework i did my homework next hmm okay so look at here what's going on where are these people they are in the market so what did you do yesterday i went to the market with my mom look at here the person went to the market went i went to the market with my mom so notice all the verbs played went did these all verbs are in the past tense okay so play played go went do did similarly let's move to next slide hmm okay look at this picture so what did you do yesterday with this picture can you guess what to uh, what you did yes i baked coconut cookies baked bake b a k bake baked i baked coconut cookies next what did you do yesterday i sang a song with my brother i sang a song with my brother next one what did you do yesterday i had dinner at our restaurant so notice verbs again baked had sang bake baked have had sing sang likewise some more picture okay so what did you do yesterday i slept under the moon 
I slept under the moon. Next. I bought a new car. I played the guitar. Okay, in this activities also, sleep, slept, play, played, buy, bought. That's why these all sentences are in the past tense. Okay, so past tense mean which is already done. Okay, we already done, already passed. So these activities. Now look at another slide. Okay, look, listen and say. Now let's read this conversation and please all of you notice verbs in the past. Okay, so let's start. A, A said, what did you do yesterday? I went to a party. I went to a party. Again A asked, what did you do there? What did you do there? B, I sang and danced. I sang and danced. A. Oh, really? B. How about you? Well, I went on a picnic. How was it? It was lovely. So, notice, let's um, underline uh, verbs in the past over here. What's there? Went. Okay. Go, went. Go, went. Went is there. Next one. Sang. Sing. Sang. Another. Do, did, did is past tense over here. And then, when it is already done, danced, danced, danced. Then another, go, went again. So watch, each, watch. Okay, so uh, here is also watch, was, is, watch. So these all verbs are in past tense. So what did you do yesterday? The sentence itself is in past tense. It asks you about what you did you do yesterday, not today. Okay, or something you already something already finished. So what the action, the action that took place yesterday was going to party. And how we have to say, I went to a party. I sang and danced. I uh, well, I went on a picnic. It was a, it was lovely. It was lovely. So these are the ways to express in past. All right. Now can you uh, look at this example? Have similar conversation. Example: Go to a wedding party. Now this is the clue. This is the clue. Go to a wedding party. Now what ha what you have to do? Make question, make question in past tense and then answer it using the clue given over here. So how to make it? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What will be the answer? I. So I is there and go. I go to a wedding party. Can we say like this? I go to a wedding party. Obviously not. What do we need? Went. Because past form of go is went. So I went to a wedding party is the right answer. Similarly, we have to form other conversation based on the clues given over here. Okay. Now let's move to that. Mm. Okay. These are the clues. Visit my uncle. See a dentist. Go to the cinema. Go to the zoo, watch football match. Okay, so these are clues. We have to form uh, dialogues just uh, as given in the example. The one, the one we just practiced before, we have to make dialogues like that of these clues. Okay, are you ready to make? Obviously, right? Okay, let's move to that. Hmm. Visit my uncle. Visit my uncle. Now let's let's make a dialogue of visit my uncle. Here it is. What did you do yesterday? So question is then. What did you do yesterday? So how would you answer? Visit my uncle is the clue. How to answer? I subject is required, right? I visit becomes 
What's the past form of visit? Yes, visit becomes visited, right? Visited. So here is the answer. I visited my uncle. I visited my uncle is the answer of what did you do yesterday on the basis of clue visit my uncle. Now let's move to next one. See a dentist. So here see a dentist means visit a dentist. Right. See a dentist means visit a dentist. So what would be the question? Question is what did you do yesterday? Okay. Question is what did you do yesterday? And answer should be what? I saw a dentist. So I saw a dentist. See, saw. See changed into saw. Okay. Past form of see is saw. And here I saw a dentist means I visited a dentist. Okay. The meaning is I visited a dentist. I saw a dentist. Okay. Let's continue the work. Go to the cinema. So how to ask question? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? So what should be the answer? I go changed into? Go changes into went. I went to the cinema. I went to the cinema. Go changes into went. I went to the cinema. Now go to the zoo. What should be the question? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I went to the zoo. Go changed into went. I went to the zoo. All right. Watch football match. Make question. How to make question? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? How do you answer? I watched football match. I watched football match. That's okay. Watch changes into watched. Next. Okay. Watched yesterday match. I, uh, I was football matched yesterday. Okay, now it's time for a chant. Are you ready? We have a chant. Look at a picture. We have a picture also. Have you sang this song before, this chant before? Can you guess what this chant is about? Okay, here's a portion uh, in a pond, maybe pond or river. Okay, inside the water and you can see a fish over there and fish. What is the action of the fish? It bit the man, right? A boy, let's say, boy in the finger. So in the uh, same uh, situation, for the, this, for the same situation, here's a chant and we are going to sing it. Okay, let's sing this chant and enjoy. Okay, all of you, first of all, let me sing. And then you also sing with me in second attempt. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to sing it. All of you listen. One, two, three, four, five. Once I cut off a life. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it beat my finger so. Which finger did it bite this little finger on my right this little finger on the right okay so all of you repeat after me okay let's sing once again one two three four five once i cut off is alive six seven eight nine ten then i let it go again why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on the right. Thank you. So everybody, can you sing now? Obviously, yes. You can sing this song, this chant, right? So uh, you can enjoy singing it, this chant, uh, together with your friends and family. Okay, practice at home. So anyway, the purpose of this uh, chant over here, what's the purpose of this chant over here? Did you notice what's there? 
what's the relation with the topic we are uh, talking about today? What's there? Yes, we are in, we are talking about simple past tense. And here, did you, uh, have you found the sentences in the past or not? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, nothing to do with this. So, once I, what is there? Caught. Once I caught a fish alive. So, here caught is past form of which bomb? Catch, right? Catch, past form is caught. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's for the rhyme. Then I let it go again. Okay. Why did you let it go? Why did you let it go? This is about past, right? So the question is also in the past. Why did you let it go? Because it beat my finger so. It beat my finger. It beat my finger. Which tense is it? Past obviously, right? Bite, beat. Beat my finger so. Which finger did it bite? See here, bite is here. Bite. Bite is bhavan, bit is bhavtu, right? Past form. Past form of bite is bit. Uh, here is did, that's why here bhavan, right? Do, did, bite, bit. Okay. So, did, do, did. Okay. I hope you are clear about this, po this chant. Okay. So now let's uh, do activity based on this stand. What is there? What is there? A puzzle. Okay. Now let's fill up this crossword puzzle. Now we are going to fill up words, some words from the stand given above. Okay. Which words to fill, uh, fill up here now in this puzzle? First letter start from F. Word that starts from F, R, T, and then E at the end, E and then starting letter A and the hair starting E and T. Okay, so now let's fill up the words gradually. What comes there? Let's see. Okay, F, I, can you, can you fill up? Come on, I, then what, do, what would be the word? Come on, guess. F, I, then N. So what would be there? What would be there? F, I, N. G, E, R, finger, yes, this is what, finger, this word is finger, okay, now let's check next one, R, I, G, okay, come on, guess, two letters left, what is the word, R, I, G, H, T, right, R I G S T right. Okay, next. What is there? Mm, T and ten. Simple three letter word T and ten. Then another word A G. What's more letter? Come on, guess. A G A I N. Again, yes, this is again. Now, okay, let's fill up next. T H. Okay, yes, come on. What is the word? T H starting and ending is E. T H R E E three. Yes, three. T H R E three. Three is a word over here to fill up. Now, only one left, E, I, what would be there? E, I, G, H, T, H. Okay, I hope you have filled up the puzzle too. Have you filled up? Check once again, what, what are the words? Finger, right, ten, three, again, eight. Okay, so these are the words to be filled up in the puzzle, crossword puzzle. And remember all of you, while filling up this puzzle, use all capital letters. Okay, uppercase letters, all capital, see? 
So use all capital letters to fill up the puzzle. Okay, thank you. Now let's move. What's there? Now let's move. What's there? In activity. Okay. Now uh, I hope you are a little bit habituated with uh, present and past form of the verbs. Now what activity is here? Take the past ten uh, past ten sentences in the following pair of sentences. So I have uh, some pair of sentences over here. One is obviously in the past tense, okay, among them, in these pairs, one is obviously in the past tense and you have to recognize the past tense sentence, okay. One is in past and another is in present. So you have to take the sentences which are in the past tense. Can you do that? Do you get it? What you are to do? Yes. Take the past tense sentences in the following pair of sentences. Example for I went to the market, I go to the market. Went and go. Which is past? Which is past tense? I, yes, went to the market. This one is past tense. So here, tick is over here. Okay, I hope you got it. Now look at this another pair of sentences. I dance in a beautiful song. I danced in a beautiful song. Which is past tense over here? Come on, recognize. Dance or danced? Dance or danced? Which is? Yes. The second one, obviously, right? Second one. I danced in a beautiful song. This one is in the past tense. Okay, so dance, danced. Now let's move to the next pair. She gave me a book. She gives me a book. Which one is past? Which one is simple past? Okay, here is the answer. She gave me a book. She gave me a book is the past one. Okay, she gives is present. So give, give, give. All right, now next, hmm, still some more exercises left. The same kind of, okay, similar exercise. We have pairs and now you have to recognize, you have to tick, you have to tick uh, the sentence, sentences which are in the past tense. He drinks a, a glass, he drinks a glass of milk. He drank a glass of milk. So, which one is the past? He drinks or he drank. Which one? Yes, obviously he drank a glass of milk is the past, right? Past form of drinks is drank. Next one. They eat red apples. They eat red apples. So, which one is the past? Eat or ate. What, which one is it? Yes, this one. They ate red apples. This one is past tense. Now let's move to another pair. We watch a nice movie. We watched a nice movie. Which one is the past? Come on. Watch or watched? Obviously, watched. Watched is the past form. Okay. Now let's move to the next activity. Are you ready? I hope you got it up to here. Shall we move further? Okay, here it is. Mm, okay, find out the verbs in the past tense. So I have brought a text over here. In this text, you have to find out verbs in the past tense. Okay, let's read this text. I had a very interesting weekend. On Saturday, I woke up in the morning and had breakfast with my family. It was my father's birthday. So, we prepared a special meal for him. After that, we went to the club and played dodgeball all day. We had lunch at the club. At night, we went to a restaurant 
where the waiters sang happy birthday to him. He was so embarrassed. On Sunday, we traveled to our country house where all the family got together. We had a cookout, my uncle played the guitar, and we all sang together. We had a lot of fun. Okay, in this text, can you find out verbs in the past? You can, right? You can find. Come on, you can underline these uh, verbs. Can you? Obviously, you can, right? Okay, underline. Let's underline. I had. Okay, had is past, right? Had. And then walk. After that, which one? Had again. Was. Prepared. Went. Played. Had. Went. Okay, likewise, let me show you over here. Okay, this is the answer. I hope you have done it. So this is the answer. I, the one which is in the red color. Look at these old verbs. Had. Past form of have. Have had. Woke up. Past form of wake up. In the morning. Had. Have had again. It was. Is. Was. Prepare. Past form prepared. Go, went. Play, played. Have, had. Go, went. Sing, sang. Is, was. Travel, traveled. Get, got. Have, had. Play, played. Sing, sang. Have, had. So these are the answers. Okay, I hope you got it. Now let's move to another exercise. Okay, so you must be um, confirmed about the past forms of these verbs. Can you make can you make the past form of these verbs? So what is the past form of following verbs? You have to write past form of these verbs. Can you do that? I think yes, you can do this, right? Talk. What would be the past form of talk? Can you tell me? Talk becomes talked, right? Talk become talked. Walk, walked. Work, worked. Then what is the past form of cook? Cook becomes cooked. Help, helped. Look, looked. Okay, so once again, read with me. Talk, talked, walk, walked, work, worked, cook, cooked, help, helped, look, looked. Okay, what have you noticed over here? How the word these verbs became passed over here? What's the strategy? Well, how it became passed? Mm, you might have noticed to here all ed is added, right? Ed is added at the end of the verb. Okay, some verbs become past just simply adding ed in the verb okay so you might have noticed right ed t a l k talk t a l k e d talked so ed ed added over here in these verbs okay so what is there next hmm okay look at on the board okay this is board activity we will do on the board so i have some list of sub words over here like uh, work, work, play, wash, paint, cook, answer, decide. Okay, let's do this much. Okay, so can you tell me past form of these verbs on the basis of the one we have we did before okay work what is the past this is a uh, present form right present now past form okay past form 
work becomes worked. Worked. Okay. Work become worked. Ed. Just adding ed. Play. Played. Okay. Wash. Washed. Ed. Just add ed. Paint. Paint. Painted. Cook. Cooked. Answer. Answered. Decide. Here, do we need to add ed? Decided. Okay. D only. D only sufficient. So, these are the verbs. How we can change present to past. Okay. This is the way. All right. Now, what's there? Mm, one more passage. Okay. So, for that, we will drop this activity. Okay. Done with this one. So, we will drop this. So, we have one more passage over here. In this activity also, underline the verb in the past. Okay. All of you underline. One day, a boy named Dominic, Dominic decided to plant a magical tree. Dominic sat down. Then he dug a hole in the ground. He planted a seed and the tree grew. The tree grew so fast within a day, it was already taller than the boy. This is, that is what made the tree a magical tree. It grew very quickly. Soon the tree had delicious apples that hung from its branches. So, uh, do not go to the meaning of this text, but just recognize the verbs in the past over here. So, okay, let's do it. Uh, verbs in the past. Let's underline. Okay, yes, made. One is made. Can you tell others what, what are the other verbs that, is, that are in the past over here? Made. Next one. Okay, sat. Okay, it's, it's randomly, okay? Sat, made. Come on, more? More verbs? Okay, yes, planted, planted and grew. Other? Dog, yes, this one is also passed. Other verbs, come on, tell me. Ah, grew again, grew is passed. Of, grow. Another? Decided, yes. Then, grew, had, hung. Are they all? One more, yes, watch. Okay, so once again, let me tell you. Decide, decided. Sit, sat. Dig, dog. Plant, planted. Grow, grew. Right? Here, grew. Again, grew is there. Grow, grew. Uh, one more grow, grew is there. So, this all grow, grow become, grew in the past. Make become made. Make made. Have had. Hung. So, what is the present form? Hang hung. Yes. So, in this way, we, these verbs are in the past tense. Okay, some more. Okay, Dominic uh, knew what he wanted to do. Okay, here also in this passage also, we will find out. Okay, Dominic knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to make uh, an apple pie with apples from the tree. Dominic shook the tree and apples fell to the ground. He picked off the apples off uh, of the ground and took them inside the kitchen. There he cut the apples into tiny pieces and made a pie. He sat down and ate delicious uh, apple pie from his magical tree. So here Bob's new, no new, what, take, took, want, wanted, want, wanted again, make, 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 to make. Here this make is 
present form okay not past made made is past form and then suk shek suk and then fall fail pick picked sit sat and then make mate yes this is present this is past made is past eat eat caught cupped okay so this is the end of today's class i hope you understood all the lesson about simple past tense and you can change the verbs into past tense from present to past that's all for today thank you namaste